All right, yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears, and honestly, I need to get this off my chest. I didn't do a World War II opinions video because it was only the week one of the beta, and I kind of wanted to wait to see if they were going to change anything for week two, you know, how to test the waters. Now, before, you know, I get into this rant, which is, it's honestly, I like the game. Personally, I do enjoy this game, but I feel that this game is being intentionally sabotaged and that they want it to fail now it, as this sounds really really strange but they're just completely neglecting like vital issues in the game that they need to address now the background gameplay is going to be a vicious metal slash nuclear i got during week one of the beta i'm honestly going to use this gameplay again when the game first comes out for like a best class setup so but i wanted to just put this in here just so if anybody wanted to say oh you just are bitching because you suck at the game obviously i don't here's a nuclear gameplay in the background so i do know what i'm talking about when as far as it goes as you know my opinions on the game i'm already you know level 30 so i already hit the level cap again and the same issues from week one are happening again for week two and personally my biggest issue with this beta is the fact that they they're just they didn't fix the sprint out they didn't fix the sprint out glitch they didn't fix the quick draw glitch they didn't add in a nuke to the game again i literally got another 30 kill streak literally a 30 gun streak i think like a 35 gun streak again just maybe like five minutes ago and i still didn't get a nuke i don't understand why they didn't add the nuke now personally like you guys can say it's only a beta the game's not finished but personally honestly guys this is the finished product if you think about it th the game is not going to change that much all they're going to do is literally just add more weapons or actually not even add just unlock you know more weapons that you can uh, that you can just pretty much have the game's already done because everything the game everything all the additional features are just locked away but you just can't access them yet the game is done i don't think there's going to be a nuke on the game or this could possibly be what they could actually do with the nuke and i really hope they don't do this but honestly i can see it happening i can see them following the infinite warfare method of putting nukes behind weapons because if you do look at your weapons in like the creator class it says standard issue so that pretty much confirms that there are going to be weapon variants within this game most likely the weapons are going to have attributes that are going to be changing them obviously making you know the variant weapons better than the base weapons or some of the variant weapons at least better than the base weapons and honestly i can really see them adding a nuke into the game but locking it behind weapons that you either a have to open up supply drops for which obviously supply drops are coming back that is something that is never going to go away from call of duty which is unfortunate but you know they just make too much money off supply drops it's honestly amazing for youtube to make content with so it's just something that is going to come back and it's never ever going to go away no matter how much you hate it so we kind of have to deal with it and honestly i accepted that i don't really care about supply drops anymore i really don't it's great for youtube it's great for content and it's great for them so you know why not but honestly the fact that they're just not they're just not adding the features that we wanted into the game and it just doesn't make any sense now they don't have a lot of the score streaks obviously unlocked but personally they should be putting the best foot forward during the beta and you know this might sound weird it's like all oh, they want to leave everything as a surprise to get people to come back but honestly if i'm a regular consumer and you know i'm not you know doing youtube or anything like that i'm not playing competitive even if i was playing competitive i don't know about this but if i'm like you know just a regular gamer like you guys who might be just watching the videos just like watching my videos or just like playing called the you know casually if the beta isn't good or you're not really enjoying yourself during the beta why would you go ahead and spend the extra 60 dollars or 55 for the pre-order to play the actual game you understand what i'm saying it just it just doesn't make sense i don't know why they just wouldn't add the features that everybody wanted to see into the game you know to make it good because as of right now world war ii feels like ghosts and i'm not talking about the actual feel of the game because it, it does not feel anywhere near ghost ghost was a smooth running game and they had great hit detection um the maps were terrible uh, but you know as far as the games you know aesthetics and i mean aesthetics but you know the mechanics in the game as far as you know moving around and you know getting in and out of gunfights the game was smooth this game is not smooth it, it's following the advanced warfare or i don't really know what engine this is it's an updated engine it's definitely not a new engine i know i can tell you that right now this is definitely a 
an updated engine of probably Modern Warfare 3, but it just it just doesn't feel right. The game, it feels boxy, it feels clunky, it feels like your character literally weighs 500 pounds and you can't run. They have a character literally called Airborne who you ha can have, you know, a longer sprint out time, you run faster, you can mantle objects faster, which is pretty much synaptic in disguise. The character, it, it, the character lags across the screen. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why, you know, they have something like this in the game, but they're not giving it to every like single person. Like it's literally like Black Ops 2 Lightweight. Now, if you guys play competitive on Black Ops 2 or even pubs, you guys understand how annoying it was to play against people with lightweight that were lagging because it was literally almost impossible to kill them because they would just, you know, skip frames. Um, the lag compensation would be just so bad and so horrendous that you really couldn't do anything to gun them. So it's just stuff like that. But I just don't understand as to why like features like that are added into the game as well as I don't understand why there's and there's not an advanced UAV in the game and during the beta. Like, they added the hater during Black Ops 3, which was a good idea because honestly, if Black Ops 3 didn't have the hater, do you think people would really enjoy the game? Probably not. And honestly, with World War 2, I don't really understand, I don't really see them adding a hater to the game for the fact that if you guys didn't know, if you call it 3 or 4 UAVs, you already, you get like a semi advanced UAV, but it's still kind of bad. And you know, why would they have that? you know as as a feature if there was an advanced uav just like how modern warfare 3 was if you called in three uavs you got an advance that's the same feature like this so i think that pretty much confirms that there is no advanced uav in this game and honestly that is very bad the game is going to be like i don't really want to say it's going to it's slow paced but as far as you know getting out of the spawns you know getting kills rapidly you know staying alive longer while on streaks you really can't do that, you know, effectively and, you know, within a timely manner to the point where you're not just dying by kids sitting in corners because they're anticipating your movements without an advanced UAV. It's just something like, it's just things like that, simple things like that, that have to be added in the Call of Duty nowadays just because of how people play the game. Like, this isn't, like, they're trying to make this, you know, you know, an original, you know, old school back boots on the ground, but that's just not the way the community is anymore. The community is so used to jetpacks and even that the people who refuse to get used to jetpacks just turn into chronic campers corner campers and now they're just sitting in corners even more because you know it works they figured out that that's you know effective play style even though it is extremely scummy and it's annoying it just literally makes it almost impossible to move around the map like you guys understand what i'm saying if you guys have played you know some of these maps point you hot there's kids in corners everywhere you guys played Gibraltar, whatever that fucking garbage ass map. There's literally people on head glitches everywhere. And they took out Arden's Forest and they added some other map where literally people are sitting in head glitches with snipers. It's just ridiculous. And it's just something that I just don't understand as to why there's no advanced UAV during the beta, why there's no nuke during the beta, and why, just for the fact, why aren't they fixing the sprint out? Now, they say it's honestly, I think that they intentionally made it like this, but. It, it makes it almost impossible to rush because if someone's on a head glitch pre-firing you you're dying there's no possible way to there's no possible way to kill them you have to run gunslinger to hip fire it just doesn't make any sense and on top of that they have the you know the rigs and the divit not i said the rigs but they're pretty much the rigs but they have like the division characters with specific abilities that you know are just you, like you need different abilities from each different rig to you know to actually be able to counter some of these play styles and you just can't like i wish i can run you know three attachments um like i hate to say it but ghosts so i can just get around the map and and maybe a suppressor and you know that's another topic man like the airborne character has a suppressor built in uh from the character so literally it's like uh, it's like a huge nightmare it's just like having it's like synaptic with dead silence and a suppressor it's, it's just ridiculous like you just cannot maneuver around, you cannot maneuver around the map you know effectively you know with some of these characters because i personally run infantry because i like to run three attachments and I like to have banda there because you know i'm not the type of player to be sitting in a corner 24 7 but at the same time i move around the map a lot as you guys can see in this gameplay here it's kind of slow but literally i can't really do anything because of you know how people play um, you can see in the gameplay, I'm constantly killing people in corners. I constantly have to check the back of their spawn because people are not moving around. It's just stuff like that that just needs to be fixed. And honestly, I don't think it's going to be fixed. And I personally believe 
that this game has been sabotaged you know to push a competitive agenda which isn't very good honestly let me know what you guys think about the beta let me know what you guys think about this game because honestly this beta this is the final product of the game i, I just don't know man like give me your opinions i know this kind of sounds negative i personally i'm not bad at the game but i i want to enjoy the game i do like you know the game and itself but there's just certain things that are just absolutely ridiculous that just need to be fixed and i just don't understand why they haven't put the best foot forward for the beta and i just don't understand why you know these things were not fixed for week two because they have ample time they even tweeted out that they were going to fix it but they just didn't so I, I don't know let me know what you guys think it's been your boy ears i know it's probably a negative commentary leave a dislike if you don't agree and tell me why you don't agree in the comment section uh do whatever you guys are gonna do it's been your boy and i'm out